Hey there. So I have a little confession to make. I really don't like vignettes. I don't like how the dark edges look, and I honestly think the traditional black vignette just looks a little tacky. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy trick you can use to improve your vignettes without having such obvious dark edges. After watching this video, you'll never vignette the same way again. Let's get started. Today, we'll be working with this beautiful image, which you can find linked in the video description. In this image, I'm noticing that the edges are very bright. I want to bring more focus in to this family and not so much on the bright edges. An easy solution to fix this would be to add a vignette. I'm going to show you a couple ways to add a vignette so that you can choose which method works best for your image. The first method is to go to our filters and then scroll way down to the bottom, then go up a little, <laughs> and here we have vignette. At first, when you add a vignette filter, it doesn't look like anything has happened. That's because we need to adjust a few of these sliders to get the vignette to look exactly how we want. First, I'm going to bring down the exposure. This will create a dark vignette, and if you go the other way, it will make a light vignette. So I'll bring mine down, and then in the next slider, you can adjust the hardness of your vignette to make it very soft or to have a very defined edge. I'll leave it like this for now, so that I can show you the scale slider, which makes the vignette smaller or larger. You can also adjust the shape of your vignette here. This vignette filter gives you a lot of customizable options, but one thing that I don't really like about this vignette filter is that you can't move the focal point of your vignette. Using the vignette filter the vignette will always be centered in your image. So this is a great option to use if you have a centered focal point, but this isn't really working for this image because the family is offset from the center. I'll close out of this dialog box and I'm going to uncheck the vignette. And now we'll show you another method you can use to add a vignette to your image. I'll start by coming to the top of the screen to layer, then I'm going to add a new fill layer. With this new fill layer, I'll go to my colors and make sure that it's set to black. Then I'm just going to lower the opacity a little bit. Right now we have this blackness applied to the entire image. I want to get rid of this fill layer though right where the family is. To do this, I'll apply a mask to our fill layer. Then I can press on the mask and using my paintbrush, I'll press B for the brush tool. I can actually paint on the mask to remove the fill layer from that area. Right now, my paint color is set to white, but if I press X or just come up here and change it to black, I can now paint to remove this black fill layer from certain areas. Using the bracket keys, I'm going to increase my brush size as high as it will go. And now I can paint in the area where the family is. And now we have a custom looking vignette right on the family. And I forgot to mention this but my brush's hardness is set to 0%, which means that the edges of my paintbrush are very soft, giving us this soft vignette effect. At the beginning of this video, I told you that I really don't like vignettes very much, and I want to show you why. Up in the sky in the original photo, the sky is very white. As soon as you apply a vignette though, 
it looks like the white has a gray wash applied to it, and it really doesn't look very natural. In fact, all of the highlights in our image have this gray wash applied to them. To fix this and make this look a lot more natural, I'm going to select my fill layer, and then I'm going to press on this gear icon. This gear icon brings up our blend ranges, which allows us to blend certain layers together. I'm going to move my picture over to show you how affecting the blend ranges will affect the highlights in this area. If I don't want this fill layer to be affecting these highlights, I can bring down the highlights node over here. As I bring this down, you can see that we still have darkness in our image, but now the highlights are back to their original white, making this vignette a lot more subtle. I'll close out of this dialog box to show you the before and the after with our new subtle vignette added to this image. At this point, you can still affect this fill layer by painting on the mask more in some areas, and you can also still affect the opacity. I'll bring mine up to 100% to show you how that looks. I love this method for adding vignettes. I love how subtle it is, and you really can't tell that a vignette has even been added. By using this method, we're protecting the highlights from getting that gray wash over them. Before wrapping up this video, I just want to show you that if you're using the other method for adding a vignette, this technique still works. All you need to do is select your vignette layer, and then press on the gear icon, and bring down that highlights node. You can see that this technique still works with the vignette filter, and our highlights still look great. You can see that this method looks so much better than the original vignette that we had. In this video, we used blend ranges to add a very subtle vignette. But you can also use blend ranges to naturally brighten your photos. If you want to learn how to do that, you can check out this video over here. This technique is so powerful, it can help all of your photos look a little more gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.